right, this right here is a clutch slave cylinder. I'm actually going ahead and remo I'm actually going to be removing this today, and pretty much the entire unit. There's the master cylinder. This is on my 1998 Saturn SL2. I am just replacing it because one, I want to, and two, it's really it is squeaking really bad every single time I press down on the clutch paddle. So I hate the the sound of fingernails on a chalkboard. So I'm just going to replace the entire unit today. Um, so what I've done right now, if I've already taken the battery out, uh, unfortunately I can't get the battery tray out because these bolts right here, this one right here, and that one right there are fused in. So I am going to be doing this the hard way. Um, so for right now. Um, I've already got these loose. Uh, these right here, I believe, are half-inch uh, bolts or uh, nuts. There's one right here and one right. Where to go? Right back here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, right here, where my finger is. And then just leave that loose for right now. Um, you want to go back into the in into the cab itself. And on the clutch pedal as you can see it's right here um, you will be removing this clip now it is very simple to remove um, all it does is slips on there you just have to push this out and pull down um, just use a flathead screwdriver um, as you can see let's see if I can get the camera sorry for this for all the where where to go there it is so you can see where the clutch cylinder comes through or the the lever comes through, hands in the way obviously, sitting right here, hooks right above it, right there, uh, right there, just have to pull that off and just let this hang. Next, come back through. Now some people say you can remove the, uh, the brake cylinder, I have enough room, I do not have ABS on my vehicle, so all I have to do is turn it and you should be able to pull it straight out yeah get everything in the way so there's mine be able to just pull it straight out like that and there we are just let that hang there for a minute or two now you want to come back out here I am going to finish removing these bolts Usually I use a tripod, but today, since I'm actually in the engine compartment, you wouldn't be able to see if I'm using the tripod. So, okay, finish removing this. Alright, there's one. Let me get to the other one real quick. I'm actually going to go ahead and put the camera down. I will be right back. I got that other bolt. Got that other bolt out. So let's see. All we have to do, I believe, is give it a turn a little bit. Push in. Turn counterclockwise and pull straight out. And there she is. All right. Now, as you can see on this one, whoops, there it went out. So that doesn't really worry about that. You can see that little plastic piece on there. Um, if you notice on the new one that you'll get, it has that same thing, leave it on, because that is holding this piece in. If you pull that out, then this will probably shoot off out in somewhere. So uh, let's not do that. This is an expensive piece. Um, here's the brand new one. Give me just a second while you finish pulling the old one out. Okay, okay there is that cylinder. Route it through here real quick. I'm having to do this through here. Ha -ha. Got it. Yeah, there's a little bit of room if you don't have any anti lock bricks or ABS in here. Alright, and there's the old one. In all of its glory of crap. There we go. Where's the. Uh... I lost my, there it is, lost the cylinder. There's that, that usually, that sticks right in that hole right there. And just pushes back and forth. There we go. So, let's 
really. And it's still got a little bit of spring, but I'm going to replace it anyway. Let's throw it aside. Here is the new one. And we're going to have some fun feeding this through. So, just let it hang down in there. Let's feed the new one under, if I can. <laughs> there we are. Got that. Feed that through underneath the battery box. Try to get it under as many of those cords and stuff in the back as possible. Come on. Okay, let me get the camera back. Alright. Now that that has been fed through just a little bit, we'll just leave that there for a minute. We'll just... Okay. We've got that fed through under the battery box, or battery holder. Now we'll take the slave cylinder. Now there's this piece right here we got to feed on first. Um, feed this bottom screw where my thumb is, or my thumb, there's my thumb right there, onto the back nut, uh, nut, the front one here onto this front lug right here, and then you put the cylinder in. Okay, I finished wrestling with everything. It should all be in the same positions as the old one. So here we go. This, that little metal piece, or I'll go to the old one. This right here. And this right here just stick on to those two bolts like I showed you before. This right here just feeds right into the hole that's left uh, once you pull the old one off, obviously. Um, it just, I don't have it sitting here right now. I haven't uh, finished put, uh, twisting it in. Here is the master cylinder. It is already set into the hole going through the firewall. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just finish feeding it in. Uh, it's kind of off kilter. Just give it a little bit of a counterclockwise turn. And there it is. That's in place. This one right here, if I remember correctly, you just have to turn it. Give it a second. Turn it, just line it up with some of those. There should be a little bit of an insert in there. Try to go as straight as possible. Uh, you don't want to miss that clutch fork. Obviously, this is a little bit harder because I can't get the battery box out. But, okay. It's straight in and push a little bit. I'm going to give it a little push and turn. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Finally got it in. Now it is obviously a little harder because I've got the battery tray in the way, but all you do is just try to stick this in as straight as possible, and you're gonna have to push in, give it a little bit of force, and then turn it is it counterclockwise, counterclockwise until it stops. So basically it's in this position like it is now. Now I've already finished putting this one in. I am going to finish torquing these bolts down. Um, the only other thing you're gonna need to do is come back into the driver's side. This up a bit. Now here is the pedal clamp. Where is it? There we go. Now we are going to just set that on to the clutch pedal and take your little ring. Sorry, it's hard to see. Okay, it goes like this. And we're just going to pop that back on. You might need the flathead screwdriver to do this. But, I might be able to do it with one hand. Hold on. Oh, nope, missed it. Uh, Come on. Yep, I had to do this with the flathead. Sex when it's only just you trying to do a, film, a video. Oh, there it goes. And there you go. So all you have to do is 
have that clip back on there. And that is it for here. Alright, everything's bolted down correctly. This is the moment of the truth. Now the first one is going to be a bit hard because you gotta snap that plastic ring. So here we go, here goes nothing. Now we won't know until I actually start the vehicle up, so I gotta put the battery back in and everything. So, we'll see how this went. Alright, battery's installed, lights are on, let's see if this caught. Go ahead and start it up. Alright, now it's in neutral, uh, we'll just put it into reverse. Yep, there it is, we're all good. See it's caught. Cool. Very easy to install. It actually took me, what, about 30 minutes to do. Um, obviously this video will be cut down, so hopefully this helps you. I'm sorry if the uh, video was a bit shaky and stuff like that. I just couldn't be, couldn't get the tripod in there. So good luck, and hopefully this helps you.